Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So today I'm going to be answering a subscriber question about dressing anvil edges or hammer faces or essentially rounding the faces of hammers. Now, this is solely my viewpoint. Uh, no one's going to change me on these. These are just the way I do things and I like to do things. Uh, there's a thousand other contradictory statements you can go read, watch, or otherwise do. Now, I'm going to teach you my method and what my philosophy is on hammer faces and anvil edges. I do not like dressing my anvil edges down to a radius. I know there's a lot of guys do, but I spent years working on really crappy anvils with really crappy edges, and now that I've spent nearly $3,000 on an anvil, I'm going to keep it in pristine, sharp condition. Now, that has its benefits and it also has drawbacks. Drawbacks are I spent nearly eight years of my forging career working with soft or radius edges or lumpy edges and things like that. So I learned how to use those edges to my advantages. Same thing with hammer faces. You learn with your hammer, however you have dressed it, to take advantage of it, the various facets on the hammer face itself after you've swung enough after you've swung enough at some steel. You start picking up that you like a certain way or you like a certain hammer for particular operations. It is my suggestion, if you're just starting out, to try several different styles of hammers, try several different radiuses of faces, flat faces that have sharp edges, flat faces that have radius edges, and even rounded faces where, you know, like rounding hammers. Try those out too. See if they're your thing. I do not believe any of these are any better than the others. This is my main hammer. I prefer it over any of my other hammers, but, you know, I make my own. All three of these have been made by me in my forge. These here were made in a class with Tom Latne. This one here was just me fooling around one evening uh, because I decided I wanted to try making a rounding hammer. Uh, that being said, we're talking about edges. The edge needs to suit the work that you are doing. So, if you're looking for a general all-purpose forging hammer, you need a flat face with radius edges so it does not leave galling or marring on your work. Especially when you're a beginner, you need to take and have something with a nice flat face with a rolled off edges. Reason for that being is until you've built up your hammer accuracy and your control, most likely you're going to leave galling into your workpiece with hammer marks. And it's just going to be a process of time for you to learn how to get those out of there. Now, as you progress, there are hammers like this hammer. I use this hammer predominantly for setting rivets on lock work. Now, that means I use mainly the peen. But I also, on an occasion, I use this nice square face. This has a really nice flat in the center, and then it's slightly crowned, if you look at it. It's very, ever so slightly crowned. This is part of the styling, but if you notice, the edges are really sharp. The edges are sharp because I need to get into very tight places sometimes and I don't want a radius edge not allowing me to get up into them tight places. Now there's other points where I don't need really sharp edges and I like to use a nice radius like this. Something a little less severe than a ball peen but a lot more radius to it. It helps get into curves like inside curves and things like that so I'll go to this hammer and this is relieved enough it looks like it's got a sharp edge but it's actually relieved enough that it's just really radius there so that is my thoughts and concerns when it comes to radiusing your hammer faces I believe if you're just starting out it is a good ideal to put about an eighth inch eighth inch to maybe three sixteenths radius on all sides of your hammer face and then, you know, if once your skills progress and you're getting into the type of work that you want to do, 
make hammers to suit yourself. So that's it for that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Actually, more importantly, let me know what type of hammer is your favorite hammer. Uh, I'd, lo I'd love to hear that. And then, you know, do you have a bunch of hammers or do you have very little hammers? Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.